Morning, Isabel. We need to wake up, darling. It's really, really early. But we're going on holiday. We need to wake up. We're going on holiday. What? We're going on holiday, like, right now. We need to get dressed. We need to get to the airport. <laughs> Esme, Isla, you need to wake up fast. Guys, you need to wake up fast. Because we're going on holiday right now. We're going to the airport R right now. Right now, we're going to the airport. You need to wake up. You need to get dressed as quickly as you can. Oh my goodness! Good morning! Good morning! You scared me! <laughs> surprise! just in time. Oh my goodness, surprise, Isla. We got to get ready, guys, because we've got a big long drive to the airport and we're going on holiday. I'm not telling you that full. That'll come later. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Official good morning guys. Very, very good morning from all of us here. We're all just getting ourselves ready today. Hello Prinny, I know Dan, I know I'm so sad right now. Literally about to say goodbye to this beautiful little girl. Aren't I baby for a little while, eh? Not for too long. Okay, and we will miss you lots. You're gonna go play with Coco and have lots of fun. Bittersweet this morning because I'm gonna miss this little girl so, so much. But Surprise! We are actually just woken up. We've surprised the girls with the fact that we're going away today. We're going away on a really, really, really a special adventure today and it's gonna be absolutely mega, like literally mind-blowingly mega. We've not told the girls where we're going. They've no idea. They just know that we're, go we're going in the car right now to the airport. They don't know what we're doing or, or anything about it yet at all. Everyone's just in the car. It is currently nine o'clock, just after nine. We wanted to leave a little bit earlier than this, but you know how things go with the family. You know, it takes a bit of time to get out of the house in the morning, but we're ready to go. We're just literally, we were waiting for my brother to get here because he's coming to stay here whilst we're away. And I'm just making sure everything's all ready and here and good. Pretty staying with him, and then she's gonna go stay with my mum and dad and Coco, etc. Um, later on today, which she's gonna love because it's her favorite place to be in the entire world. But I am gonna really miss you, Prinny. I'm gonna miss you a lot, and I love you so much. And we'll speak on FaceTime, okay? Yeah. You FaceTime me, yeah. Who else FaceTimes their dog? Anyway, I've got three very excited girls in the car right now, including Sarah, that's definitely four, because she's very excited, although she's suffering right now real bad, like she can't deal with mornings at the minute, she gets really bad sick in the morning, and she's sat in the car, literally, just trying to zen herself. Not to be sick, but... On that note guys, it's time for us to hit the road. We've got a big drive today. We're driving down to Gatwick, so we've got a five hour drive ish, maybe more, and then the adventure starts, so it's time to get cracking. So we've currently been on the road for, what time is it actually? Um, four hours? Four hours. Around four hours, or just over four hours, and we should be in London by now. However, for the last hour, hour and a half, something like that, we've been stuck in some rubbish traffic. And we've still got quite a long way in this red line traffic to go, and still an hour and a half. Which means we're not going to arrive in London until about 4 p.m. hotel and I thought I'd tell you guys because I know we always get lots of questions asking how do you all fit into one room as a family of five etc etc so when we do find a, find a good hotel that accommodates larger families like this I always like to let you guys know um so this whole this hotel sorry is the the airport in at Gatwick and I think is it a holiday inn no no it's a Britannia hotel oh it's a Britannia hotel I used to fly with Britannia when I was like six years old and it always has like a warm fuzzy feeling for me whenever I hear the word Britannia because it just brings back so many nice memories. So we're at the Gatwick Inn, sorry, the airport inn at Gatwick and it's a Britannia hotel and this room 
I'm not going to say it's the nicest hotel room we've ever stayed in in our lives because it's not, but it's clean, it accommodates us, and it's a-okay for a night before a flight. So just as you walk in, door behind me, you have a bathroom to your right. Nice, clean, massive, it's quite a big bathroom actually, it's huge. There's a bath and, is there a shower? I'm not sure if there's a shower in here, let me see. Yeah, there's a shower up there too. So this is a nice size bathroom. And then you go straight down here and you come to a, oh my gosh, I've just realized the other bed over there. How many does they sleep? Seven. Seven, yeah. wow. So you come to a double bed here, a, a single bed over there, TV. Like I said, it's quite, um, quite, what's the word for a family? Dated, it's dated. Yeah, it's quite dated, but it's fine. And then you come through here, you have tea and coffee, a bit some bats here, and then... Isla is seven on her next birthday. I'm sure she can sleep wherever she wants. And then we got two sets of bunk beds in here. Be careful, sweetheart. So my baby sleeps. Woman, this is what I get to do in the old house. My baby, my baby's sleeping here. Okay. Put up there, because it's not shaped for a That's for my hard pack. Okay. Well, that's cool. So anyway, yeah, so. A talkie walkie. Walkie talkie. <laughs> right, so bunk beds in here. So these rooms actually sleep seven. And we got this for how much was this hotel? Uh, 86 pounds. 86 pounds, but we did book it super last minute. We booked it like four days ago, right? Yeah. So you might be able to get it cheaper if you book more in advance. But even so, I think for an airport hotel, it's really cheap. They do a shuttle bus every 15 minutes to the airport. We're about five minutes away, are we? Yeah. Not even so, I don't think. About five minutes away from the north terminal. <laughs> and I think they charge, we just noticed on the way up, three pound per adult and one pound fifty per child for the shuttle bus. And it is cash only. And we have no cash, so we need to work something out. Anyway, these girls are very, very hyper after being sat in the car for six hours. Found the wagon wheels that I had slide in my bag. So I'm going to leave them to play for a bit. And I am about to film a video for my Sarah Say channel. I'm one as well. Isabel's filming a video of her own channel. I'm about to film one for Sarah Says. By the time you watch this one minute, it will already be up. So head on over there once you've watched this video and check that out. So I just left everybody in the hotel room and took the five minute journey down the road to the valet parking area. I've just dropped off our car. We're just gonna be staying here for the next however long we're away for. So I'm just about to take a walk into the South Terminal and go to the information desk of the airline that we're flying with tomorrow just to check a few things out, make sure that everything's all good. And I'm feeling really excited now because now it feels really real that we're actually doing this trip. And I know we've not told you guys yet where we're going and stuff like that, but we will, we will do like probably like later in this video. I don't know, but it's going to be like an incredible incredible trip you guys are going to love this it's going to be it's just going to be absolutely out of this world and i'm feeling like it's really really happening now um now that we're actually here and so i'm, I'm really excited but yeah i'm gonna head into the terminal make sure everything's all good and i need to go find the shuttle bus to get me back over to the hotel and then we're all gonna go for some nice dinner and, and just get excited you know So guys, whilst the girls are playing and I've just finished editing and uploading my, I was about to say Sunday with Sarah then, throwback, throwback. my Sarah Says video on my new channel. If you guys have not already checked it out, I would super duper really appreciate you going over there and subscribing and turning on your bell so that you know when I've uploaded. I'm going to be doing a week by week pregnancy update as well as lots of other things on that channel. I've just uploaded a new video to there and I wanted to tell you guys about something that I was going to tell you about anyway, but now I really want to tell you about them. So you guys may remember at some time last year, I actually think it was the summer holidays last year, I got the girls some super cute summer adventure books from a a wonderful lady on Facebook called the page is called Doris and Fred I love supporting small businesses I just think it's I would much rather pay an extra couple of pounds for a really special personalized diary 
than to a small business than what I would get a little bit cheaper from Asda. I really think it's so important if you guys can to support small businesses and so when I ordered these books last year and they arrived they were so nice and I love them so much. We also got a taxes and expenses book and you may remember them. Comment down below if you do. If you don't, don't worry. So with our adventures that we have coming up, I thought it would be super cute to get the girls some travel adventure diaries because these are awesome. They're genuinely so much fun and we're visiting quite a lot of places in the next few weeks. And although we are super, super lucky that we'll have these videos to look back on as amazing memories, I think it's really important that the girls are able to write down their own feelings and their own happy memories whilst we're away too and just their own perspective on it. And not only that, but during the six week holidays, during the summer, they don't do a lot of work, kind of get a big break from school. So I think it's great that they get to actually do some handwriting and spellings and concentration and all those things that come with writing their own diary. Anyway, <laughs> I'd ordered these books and I was super sad that they didn't arrive on time. It wasn't the lady's fault, it was my fault because I didn't tell her the date we were going away and I only ordered them super last minute. So she messaged me today telling me that they'd been posted and, and I explained that we'd already set off and that I was gutted but not to worry, the girls could still fill in their journals when we got back home and they'd just do notes and things whilst we were there. And she was super sad because obviously she she wanted the girls to have these super cute journals guys she drove a two hour round trip from her home with her husband and her son to this airport hotel to deliver a new set of books like tell me that's not above and beyond anything you would ever expect from a business isn't it it's absolutely mind blowing, I can't believe it. So we still, we've still got the ones that she's posted, but she made up some extra ones and she drove here and brought the girls the holiday journals. And I'm literally mind blown. I know, your son will be watching this. Thank you so, so much. And guys, I am actually asking you to go and give this page a like and check them out. They don't only do hol holiday journals, they do all sorts of mood books, where you can write down emotions and feelings. They also do pregnancy journals and, dare I say it, Christmas planning journals, both of which I've ordered. They do amazing tax expenses books with little pockets to put envelopes, to put receipts in and all sorts of handy stuff. They do holiday journals, like I say, and all sorts, they do so much stuff. And they're really good quality and are just amazing. So this is what their Facebook page looks like. There you go, that's what it looks like. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box. So please go and check them out and consider maybe supporting the little business. They're such a lovely family. Anyway guys, I'm about to surprise the girls now with the holiday journals and I'm really excited. I think, I think we're going to tell them one of the destinations we're going to tonight, shall we? So we just got the little three in and I'm about to give you a little present that we got well, someone drove quite a long way to bring today because they didn't arrive in the post, so they drove and brought them. These are going to be so, so useful for the next three and a bit weeks. Little clue right there. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Close your eyes. Oh my goodness. So there, do you know what they are? They're holiday journals. <gasps> really? Are they actually yeah, holiday journals? Yeah, actual holiday journals. Oh. So take a look at the how pages. Do you know how to open it? Yeah. Wait, <gasps> so you get to write where you are in the world, you get to write what the weather's like, you get to write your feelings and your favorite parts of the day, and then in the, yeah, there's proper pages for it. And then you can draw a picture on the opposite side. Yeah. And then in the back there's things, spare pages where you can stick things in. And then in the very back there's even a little pocket, or two pockets I think, where you can put things like small shells or anything you find. Right, so. I'm really scared. This is good. It's really it's good. scared. Isabel's a bit scared. <laughs> right, so we always tell you guys where we're going in the airport. Yeah. Okay. Now, tomorrow we are going to a destination that I'm not going to tell you right now. Mom, you can't. 
that's me. That. But I am going to tell you where the majority of our holiday is going to be spent. Okay? So the main place that we're going to. So the to. main place, we're going to. Our country. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to three countries. Three different countries. Three there. different countries. Are they near each other? Are they like, are they like. No, they're, no, near, they're not near each other. <gasps> Wait, oh no, my... no, no guesses, no Should guesses. We M? No. Oh! No. So we're not telling you where we're going tomorrow. Can you tell us it over this night? But we are going to tell you the main place we're going, okay? And this place we're going to be spending two weeks at, but we're not going to be spending two weeks in the same place. So we're oh, going to stay hotels. in the, we're going to be staying in the same country for two weeks, yeah. but we're actually going to be traveling around this country just over two oh, weeks, into two, over two two weeks. Into so is that like whilst we're in the main thing for two weeks we're going to be driving and we have to get some planes as well but they're not going to be long haul planes no because we're, we're like... staying in the same country no. so it tells the country that we're going. i'm going to tell you where oh. we're going yeah i'm about to tell you where we're going <laughs> so tomorrow we're flying somewhere for a couple of days but we're not telling you there but we're going to tell you where we're spending the main, main part, part of our holiday. Okay, so you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Ugh. Uh, Mom, stop! We're going <laughs> to. I'm going to cry. Australia! <laughs> oh my god! Oh I my did god. it! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the Great Barrier Reef. Is it Great Barrier Reef? The Grand Barrier Reef. I always get mixed up. The Great, up. Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. How many yeah. planes are we getting tomorrow then? We're getting one plane tomorrow. How long is that? Like 12 hours? Like 13 hours. That's a long time. That's <laughs> a long time. But, Wait, but, and then we're stopping off somewhere. And then we're staying oh, there for two, a couple of days, yeah. And then we're staying there a couple of days to get our body cocks, like you said. And then we get kind another... Of. Extra 12 hours. No, it's not 12 hours. Oh, the next day it's only seven. Yeah. We're doing so many awesome things whilst we're in Australia. We're visiting <coughs> so many different places. I'm not swimming with sharks for you. <laughs> no, we, we've not got oh, sharks did. swimming oh, on the agenda. <laughs> I've got no idea. But we're going Thank to Australia! You. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank it's going to be guys. the best adventure ever. You're very I'm so excited! Oh, okay. I was going to cry. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, the main thing, one of the main things that we didn't tell yeah. you guys is that one of the main reasons that we're doing this trip yeah, is this because is someone's about. got a very special birthday coming up soon. And actually, the last Happy part of the birthday. Birthday. actually the last yeah. part of the trip, we're going to be there on your birthday. So your birthday is going to be spent in a, somewhere in a country, yeah. amazing. Wait a oh minute! My God. And yeah. Oh, I thought you was going to fall off the bed then. Careful. Alice <laughs> is in Florida. Isabel is in this other country. And I, Esme, uh -huh. you got the cinema. Oh. <laughs> hey, you got, you got Jurassic Park, mate. And a day off school. Don't complain. <laughs> <for it>. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Look at the state of me right now. <laughs> got these pillows from Primark. And I'm just sat here feeling really rubbish. And I just thought I'd put it on. And it's making me feel better. It's making me feel cosy. Anyway, we just decided to order room service. As no one has... I'm saying no one, it's actually me. Just doesn't feel up to going down for dinner tonight. But room service I just arrived. I, don't. I wasn't sure if they do room service here just because it's Rock such like it shop. seems like um like yeah, like a real I don't know, yeah. I just didn't think they do room service. So surprised that they do, and they only charge a three pound surcharge yeah, per meal. Really and usually it's a lot more expensive oh. than that. Anyway, <laughs> food's just arrived. It looks so good. So Chris, Es Esme and Isabel. She's desperate to dive in. <laughs> so nice. Went for a chicken pizza for the girls and did you get the Diablo? Oh, yeah. Spicy. spicy. Yeah, As May was just filling in a diary and they got some chips to share. No idea where they got free portions because that's way too much. Well. Little Isla is already tucking in. No waiting for this girl. Mm. She went for a ham salad sandwich and some crispies. Delicious, delicious. I think these are. Ready salted, probably. Uh, yes. And then I went for a grilled chicken risotto, which looks divine. Esme, you stealing her crisps? Stop. <laughs> she's, she's giving you one. Yeah, it looks so delicious. I knew for an absolute fact this one would be straight into her writing. 
hello. So Isla's wrote, we drove in a car for four hours and then we arrived at the airport. And then mummy and daddy told us where we was going. going. But I am leaving that for a secret. <laughs> it's time to tell where we are going to... My favourite bit. Yeah. <laughs> my favourite bit. I shouldn't have written that bit. That's okay. My favourite bit. bit. <laughs> my favourite bit was when when mummy and and that's an answer. And and, and daddy surprised, surprised us. us. Oh yay! That's so cute. And you draw on a very cute picture there And too. it was sunny and cloudy. <laughs> that's awesome, Isla. So on that note, we're going to finish today's video with three very, very excited girls. I know you're up there. There you are. Esme. Esme. That sums up Esme right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah! I'm so excited. Make sure you come back tomorrow to find out where we're heading on our first destination because these guys don't know where we're going first. You don't know where we're going first. And it's all coming tomorrow and it's going to be absolutely amazingly incredible. And we are so excited for the next three and a bit weeks together doing this yes. it's gonna be amazing until tomorrow night at 5 p.m. guys 5 p.m. every night by the way always on UK time always stick to our schedule 5 p.m. we will see you then Good.